moon. You're wondering what the hell is that? Holy shit. It's our house being built. Got contractors coming in. We're putting the rest of these supports in for the uh, decking right now. Floor in today. You guys kick ass. Got the floor in today. Everything's still frozen solid, but it's about 35 degrees. So it's probably about 25 out here. There's a little bit of wind going. There's the owner right there. That guy's pretty nuts. This is badass. I'm going to get out of here before they're going to start making a lot of noise. This is where I work. I sit here and think about things like Fukushima. Because I have family and I'm concerned about. And I was hoping that the media and maybe some entertainers would get on board and, and people would say, listen, we got to do something about this. As my nephew said, he can't understand why in San Francisco there's nobody, there's nobody really protesting or saying anything, even though San Francisco historically is known for protesting wars. They bang these things down 100 feet. Those are 40 or 50 foot poles. So pound them, pound them down, weld another one on, and pound that one down. If some people have a lot of money to do this stuff, because I gotta tell you, this guy, I'm, I'm thinking this guy's spending an eight hundred thousand dollar area, maybe a little more. This is beautiful out here. I can't see because the sun is in my eyes here. Get this shot of the sun going. The sun is actually up. It wasn't too long ago, right now it would have been dark. This is my project. We built the seawall right here. It's old wooden seawall. Today I can start the rest of the pedestals, the power, the water. We parked the boats right here. Three, four, five foot boat. And under. 45 is pushing it, but yeah, it's hard to have room. We rebuilt this seawall all the way back to the back over there somewhere, not all the way to the end. But we needed ice to work. And we've got plenty of that. So no, I'm not idle all day. It's very beautiful out here, it's very cold. A lot of work, a lot of contractors coming in today. This is a video of not about much. I'll go home and try to get my nephew to out in San Francisco to do another video about Fukushima and the radiation that's coming in and the media who is just lying. It's making me sick. They're lying so much about the, radi the radiation. They're saying that Celsium-137, it only lasts 20 years. It's not even, it's hardly noticeable. But the problem is 20 years from this very second, 20 years from this second, 20 years from this second, 20 years from this second, and on and on and on. And let's face it, plutonium, the 239, has a half-life of 2,400 years. From this second, 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 and on and on and on and on. It doesn't stop because it's still molten. The core is still hot. It's still producing radiating isotopes. And it's not going to stop until they fix it, until they find it. They don't even know where the hell it is. I read an article that says they're going to use an army of robots an army of robots and they don't even have the technology to build the robots yet they're trying to develop that but who the hell is paying for it because I gotta tell you nobody's got any money no nope. United States isn't paying for it hell we're involved in Chernobyl with about six or eight other countries trying to get that thing capped off nobody's talking about that all right let's duck out